I am restoring uh, a 1947 Ford pickup truck and uh, it's not a, a exact restoration uh, I'm putting a flathead V8 in it but one of the most difficult things that I've run into so far is the hood hinges hood alignment and finding the right parts so what I thought I'd do is I thought I would share via YouTube uh, what I have discovered so far that might help some other folks that are out there. Right here you see the hood hinge uh, that you can order, and I'll tell you a source in a few minutes, that you can order, and I strongly suggest that you replace your old hood hinges uh, if you're doing a late 40s Ford uh, with new parts because they get worn and you'll have a difficult time getting that hood to line up. Now here's what I wound up with on one side of the hood. I'm going to move in here. You can see it's a rusted out shouldered threaded piece that this end of the hood hinge goes on. It, the threads were stripped and so uh, I had to find a remedy for that. Back here someone had tapped, drilled and tapped, and put a larger uh, bolt in it that really would not work properly that would attach to this end of the hinge. Now what I did was over here I'm showing you the parts and the tools that I've used uh, to accomplish what I have so far. Uh, I'm not going to be talking about this hood, hood spring right here, but again I'm going to tell you uh, if it's a late 40 Ford of any kind, uh, you need to replace the hood springs. Uh, you're going to need something that you can measure inside diameters with, and that's just a little mechanical caliper that I have there. The uh, half-inch wrench here you're going to need because it's, uh, that's the size of the heads on the Dennis Carpenter hood bolts. I also used a, a, a multi-drill here to ream out uh, just a little bit of the beginning point of uh, the tap that I used, the tap that I used to get the one quarter, the one quarter uh, uh, by uh, 24 tap that the threads for the Dennis Carpenter pieces are. Uh, that's a correction on the tap size. That's a quarter by 28. One quarter inch by 28 threads per inch uh, tap. And uh, I suggest that you be very careful when you are tapping this material. It is very hard. Uh, do not force that tap. Keep plenty of cutting oil on it. And start the tap by reaming out a spot in the, in the top uh, of the threads that you're going to cut. So that you can get your tap started there very well. These are the hood bolts here. They are a shouldered one quarter by 28 thread a shouldered bolt and Dennis Carpenter sells those and here is the part number. It is 91A-16798-8 91A-16798-S. You get four bolts in a pack, and four bolts is all you need for a 42 to 47 Ford hood uh, hinge that I showed you. The result, after you take that speed nut that oh, I showed you over here, you take the speed nut, and you take a grinder, and you cut it in half, and, and then you're going to thread it, and then what you're going to wind up with, let me find it here, the result is right here. Now the reason we have to do that is, is because this uh, speed nut that we've modified here must fit securely and flush against these two holes over here in the hood. Now with me right here on this one, if I can get around to an angle that maybe you can see, you can't see it too good, but what I have is a rusted out shoulder. I'm going to have to grind that off, and what I'll do is I'll take this shoulder that you see right here on this side, and I will take my MIG welder, and I will 
uh, spot this a couple of times around that so that I can put my, my nut in there. In this case, the shoulder that you see there, which is pointed to the left, will be sticking out and will be exposed. Over here on this hole, the shoulder will actually go inside and, and always test fit these before you start doing any welding. Okay folks, we're picking up after I had to stop and put another memory card in. I need to back up on something. Okay folks, there we are. Uh, uh, cleaned up, ready for a little spot weld. I'll... Well, here we are after the welding in of the uh, of the speed nuts that we were talking about. Okay, here is the uh, uh, hinge applied to uh, the new uh, hood. Uh, I'll call it threaded inserts, if you'd like that uh, that we put on there, and so. Uh, and that hood action is uh, geometric, geometrically a wonder to me, but it, uh, what I've seen in videos, it does work. Now I want to move out, I'm going to stop, I want to move out to the uh, cowl of the truck and show you how this hinge would mount, where it mounts on the cowl of the truck. Well, here we are out in the bright sunlight, but this is how the hinge that uh, uh, attaches to the hood, where it attaches to the cowl. And you can see it's really the top two uh, uh, holes that are in the cowl. And then you would go inside of the truck, uh, inside, and you would be able to get to the bolts, or nuts rather, on the, end of, on the other side of this hinge that would allow you to adjust the hood uh, to, to fit better as well as you could on the cowl. I sure hope this helped and uh, because I was getting frustrated I couldn't find anything anywhere really except in verbal format but I couldn't find any pictures or videos that talked about how to uh, attach these hinges and really even uh, what they look like and how they fit so I hope this helps thanks